The school year marked the end of a two-year federal program that covered public school lunches throughout the nation. With that expense coming out of the parents' wallets again, some North Dakota lawmakers want to make it the state's responsibility. Michael Anthony reports. Not all school lunches are created equal. Some students unable to afford meals may end up with an alternative lunch option. With the Department of Agriculture funding those meals over the past two years, everyone was on equal footing. For parents like Katie Barber in Wofford City, knowing her children were fed was one last thing she had to worry about. I wish it was back. I wish the free lunch program was back just so that I didn't have that another added task on my list of things to do every single day. But the program ending prior to the 2022-23 school year, some legislators are looking to restart it in North Dakota. House Bill 1491 would allocate $89.5 million from the state's general fund towards funding lunches for the 2023 and 2024 school years. Fargo Representative Lori Beth Hager sponsored the bill. What if a simple solution to enhancing learning and prevent behavioral health issues during the school day is simply to alleviate hunger and food insecurity. While there is support for the bill, the biggest question is whether the legislature will approve the large amount of funding. And I'm not against the concept of it exactly, but is this sustainable over a long period of time? Because it is a, a lot of money. Another bill involving school lunches is also being looked at by the House Education Committee. House Bill 1494 would make it illegal for a school to deny or serve an alternate meal, differentiate students based on meal status, and limit a student's participation in activities based on meal balance. A school would also not be allowed to use a collections agency to collect unpaid debt. They would only be allowed to communicate with parents in a way that would not stigmatize the student. I'm Michael Anthony reporting for your news leader. The 2021 Hagar, uh, in 2021 rather, Hagar introduced a bill that would provide a study into funding free meals. It passed the House but overwhelmingly failed in the Senate.